Hello and welcome to TXM TV. I'm Anthony Klein and today I'm joined by uh, Greg Kuszewski. And uh, Greg, welcome to TXM. Where are you based? Thank you very much, Anthony. I'm my, I will come, I'm currently based in Perth, West Australia. And I uh, live here for last nine years. And uh, I'm looking forward to represent TXM in Western Australia. Fantastic, Greg. And um, we've worked together for over 20 years and I really welcome you to the team. And thank it's you. great that you can join us. Yes, thank you very much for the opportunity. I look forward. Excellent. And, uh, and I learned a lot of things off Greg. And at the time I was a, uh, a, a process engineer and an operations manager at an automotive company. And, uh, and we were practicing tools. We were picking up uh, lean tools such as 5S, Kanban, uh, standard work, uh, Andon and uh, Jidoka, and those concepts and tools we were, uh, we were employing in our, in our factories. And what I learned over the years is that the, the tool has to be customized to suit the application and the people. And uh, it's a little bit like going to your, uh, your toolkit and picking out a hammer or a screwdriver. And, and it's not about just using it using uh, the basic instructions. It's about the feel and the finesse. And so the finesse of how you use a tool to do a, a job around the house or a, a, a mini project requires you to do it safely. You can, uh, you can do, do little taps before you, just to get the nail started, and then you can do big taps and you can, uh, you can hear and listen and feel how that uh, tool is working. And those same sensors are required when implementing lean tools. You listen to the people, you see, you see how they're working, and you adjust them to suit the, the people and the situation. And what that does, that gives the people the exact ownership and the calibration of those tools, meaning the, the, app, the, uh, the customization, setting them up slightly differently, calling them different names, having different shapes, having them made of simple things that are readily available and using those tools to suit the client so that not every tool in every place will be identical. They'll all be customised with finesse. And it's about the finesse of the tool that makes it work. And, uh, and Greg, you've, you, you've taught me a lot of tools. What's your uh, viewpoint on this? Um, yes, I totally agree uh, what you just said. Is, um, I believe that um, you know, deployment of lean culture uh, is just that finesse of taking ownership of those tools. I always say to the people, if you know, um, you can, I would say 80, 90% of the companies I deal with use those tools, but they couldn't sustain them. And the, I believe the problem is that they, they couldn't sustain use of those tools because they never uh, made those tools to be owned by the people on the ground floor. And that's why when I work with the people, I always make sure that they understand the benefits of the tool and then let them to use their own experience and set it, customize it to their environment and just watch them and coach them and mentor them, but make sure that they take ownership of those tools. That, my belief, is the only way that those tools will be sustained and part of daily, you know, daily, daily lean or daily Kaizen. It's, uh, it's so true. And it's true about a lot of engagement and a lot of working together. And, uh, and that's, how, that's how we work at TXM. So, yes. uh, so thank you, Greg. And it's great to have you on board. And uh, thank you for watching this episode of our TXM TV. Remember to, uh, to comment on our LinkedIn page or send us an email at txmtv at txm.com. Uh, I'm Anthony Klein and thank you for watching and I look forward to the next episode of TXM TV.